Greetings all. Well, it's afternoon here. Uh, it has been very sunny all day. Now it is starting to cloud up. I'm actually kind of happy about that. I'm tired. <laughs> I've been working out there. <clears throat> but I just thought I, I'd drop by and mention to the listeners why it is that I happen to have had a <laughs> video posted about a defective uh, iRobot Roomba uh, robot vacuum. <laughs> on the green guard guys channel well <sighs> bought that thing uh back in february yeah hadn't worked right ever since now uh, it does a marvelous job uh, it really does it's excellent at vacuuming floors gets into corners blah 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 it maps the house so it even knows where it's going after it you know gets around once and scopes everything out you know it'll stick to its map uh you can change the map you can tell it to work in only certain areas of the map on certain days and the days were the problem ever since the moment i came into the house back in february i have not been able to set a schedule on it the thing would just take off and run <laughs> it's one o'clock in the morning i i hear it out there in the front room churning around when one's supposed to start till 10 o'clock two days from now you know and it's been doing that so i'm on with customer service and customer service and they're trying to talk me through this and that and that and we're rebooting the robot several times and uh, uh went so far eventually as to even do a factory reset on the silly thing uh several times <laughs> and it uh, is still messed that it has a serious problem um this morning after i get done screwing around with it for almost an hour um, it, it just ended up stuck on a uh, an error that says empty the bag it wants me to empty the uh, bags are empty yeah bags are empty uh, it won't go off so i had tried twice so far to get somewhere with this uh in that the company had admitted that yeah there's no way we can do this over the phone or you know at your house we have to get the robot back and repair it i'm going good well then they tell me they want a video shot of the thing three seconds they said i said how do you shoot a three second video that shows an error you know <laughs> Oh, and then after i posted it on youtube for them longer than three seconds then they claimed they couldn't find it yeah, it has really been a mess. Terrible, terrible, terrible mess. And the people that they have working for them um, are Hispanic and they speak English so poorly uh, that I have a terrible time understanding what they're saying. It's really hard. And uh, anyway, so I'd had it again this morning. I said, all right, I'm going to go back to this again. I called them up, you know. Well, this time I hope we got what we needed. Yeah, this time they uh, put me on to a higher authority who listened to this story and apparently decided, yeah, we're messing with this guy. I, I told the, the I told them that look, man, I, I have owned uh, iRobot stock for ten years. I sold it all this morning. <laughs> now I have a a, a minimum uh, distribution coming out of my IRA, you know, this year for tax purposes so i gotta sell something off anyway but man i went in there this morning i was so angry I, I, it's been bad lately anyway and i didn't understand until i uh, you know i did a little research because i hadn't been looking to find out why it's been down apparently they were going to merge into amazon amazon was going to buy them uh, and that's why we got the thing for 649 dollars during the process of what amazon was sure they were going to pick them up well something fell out and they didn't pick them up and so when they didn't pick up irobot the price now went up to a thousand forty nine on amazon for the same machine i got in february for six forty nine and uh the ceo resigned <laughs> yeah and the stock went down uh and the stock hasn't come back up and there are, there are reports that some people think that it'll make it others believe that uh when the the uh purchased by Amazon failed that maybe iRobot's going to go under well at this point it won't be too much of my problem I guess because it got rid of the company uh, may have a hard time getting replacement parts if they if they close anyway it's uh, they agreed they're going to send us a brand new robot yeah I got a brand new iRobot uh, S9 
plus, I guess is what that is. Yeah, it's a, it's a real high-end one. It empties itself, you know, the whole works. Um, I, I, I like the product. I have one of the oldest ones they ever made. Yeah, it's, oh, man, I think he's well over 10 years old. Uh, but it's the basic type. It's just bumps into things, turns, bumps and turns. It doesn't have any brains, you know. I, I, I think the only thing it knew how to do was to take itself back to the charger. Yeah, that, that it knew. Could return to the charger. Uh, otherwise, it, it just rambled around. But it's still here, and it's still doing a pretty fair job. I use it in the bedroom sometimes. But it got more and more sophisticated. Oh, man, did they go south. Well, that isn't the end of the story, either. I've had a lot of things going uh, uh, going down around here. Technology failing. Um, uh, the Bolt was a real problem, and I have supported the idea of electric cars. And, uh, well, at the time that I bought it, Bolt was one of the few things you could actually get here in Hilo as an EV. Um, and I'd been pretty happy with it until at 28,000 miles, the power steering rack went out. Uh huh. 28,000 miles. But I was off warranty. Uh, we don't drive much here. Uh, so there's no recall on it. There's no warranty for it. I got really angry with them. Oh, man. I, I swore that I was going to take my 57 Chevy and like a Buddhist monk in Vietnam, I was going to set it out in the driveway and set that baby on fire and just burn my 57 to the ground. I will never see another Chevrolet again as long as I live. And the lady, don't burn the 57. The lady says, don't burn your 57. Well, I sold my 57 a long time ago. <laughs> I had three of them. I don't have one anymore. But, yeah, so we'll see. But... Um, we were in contact the other day, and now that we have gone through spending, I don't know, twenty-four hundred dollars, I guess, getting a, a new rack installed at the dealer, um, she's going to see about getting us uh, reimbursement. Chevy Concierge uh, claims they're going to get me the money back for what happened to the car. I might buy another Chevrolet one of these days again. I don't know. You know, at first I thought they were just going to give me a, a you know, a, a coupon for two thousand dollars off on an Equinox or something. <laughs> well, we'll see. It hasn't quite happened yet, but um, I seem to be having some success with creative complaining. Uh, looks like General Motors and iRobot have <laughs> finally listened to me. <sighs> I'm telling you, it was rather exhausting. You know, it's. I've always been really good at this creative complaining thing because I ran business and I mean I have you know deadbeat vendors and things like this I'd have to deal with you know and I, I consider myself under the right circumstances to be a, a, a real tirade to have to deal with you don't want to have to deal with me when you're messing with me not mm -mm. you don't want to be there and I so I'd be pretty good at making collections most of the time but lately I guess it seems like everybody's complaining about everything, you know. If it's, if it's the government, it's, it's the Israelis, it's the Ukrainians, it's the wars, it's uh, the economy, it's this, that, and the other thing. It's the COVID, you know, and, and truly COVID did have an effect on the, the American, a human state of mind, period. Uh, I, the microbiome diet that I had set myself into is making considerable dis difference. It's really helping. I encourage everybody else in the country to do this. Oh boy, oh boy, because it seems like uh, like creative complaining isn't as easy to do as it used to be. There's too many people complaining. I'm afraid. Yeah, I got a feeling the customer service people got uh, three pieces of cotton in their ear instead of the two they used to have. Anyway, so there you have it. Ah, uh, that's why there was <laughs> a video about. A defective robot vacuum on my channel. Hey, hang loose. Aloha.